Linux Mint vs Sorin OS. It's a battle of the user-friendly distros. We are comparing their looks, feel and performance in this in-depth showdown, revealing which one offers the most initiative and powerful experience. Let's first start with the introduction. The quest for the perfect user-friendly Linux distro. Welcome to the channel, fellow Linux enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into head-to-head -head comparison of two popular user-friendly distros, Linux Mint 22.1 and Zorin OS 17.3. Both are celebrated for their initiative interface, making them top picks for newcomers to the Linux world. But which one truly stands out? Let's break down their strengths, weaknesses, and key features to help you decide which distro is best fit for your needs. A closer look at the Linux Mint, the veteran of user friendliness. First up, Linux Mint. This distro has been a staple since 2006, earning a loyal fans for its ease of use and rock solid stability. Its cinnamon desktop environment mirrors the familiar Windows layout with a start menu, taskbar, and a system tray, making it a breeze for Windows users to transition. Linux Mint also comes with a powerful software manager, a massive community for support, and a ton of user-friendly apps right out of the box. Now, a closer look at Zorin OS. The stylish contender with a focus on aesthetics Next, we have Zorin OS. This newer player has quickly gained traction for its sleek, modern design that echoes the macOS aesthetic. Think clean lines and polished look. With its Zorin appearance tool, you can tweak the desktop layout and themes to match your style. Plus, it ships with a suite of pre-installed apps for productivity and creativity which is perfect for users who want to hit the ground running. Now, the showdown. Comparing key features and performance. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty and compare these two head-to-head. -head. First, the desktop environments. Linux Mint rocks Cinnamon, which is lightweight and snappy. Zorin OS uses GNOME which looks gorgeous but can be a bit heavier on resources. Need something lighter? Zorin OS offers a light version with XFCE desktop environment. Now, software availability. Both are built on Ubuntu, so they tap into the same huge software pool. Linux Mint's software manager is straightforward, while Zorin OS curates a sleek App Store experience. Now, performance. On identical hardware, they are neck and neck thanks to their Ubuntu roots. That said, Cinnamon might edge out slightly on lower end systems. Now, community support. Linux Mint's massive, long standing community means more forums, guides, and help. Zorin OS community is growing fast but isn't quite as big yet. Now, customization. Zorin OS shines here with its appearance tool for easy tweaks. Linux Mint is customizable too, but it might take a bit more elbow grease. Now, updates. Linux Mint plays it safe with a focus on stability, while Zorin OS often packs in newer software for cutting-edge features. Now, cost. Linux Mint is 100% free. Zorin OS has a free core edition or core version and also a paid version which is paid pro version with extra goodies. Hardware needs. Both run on a wide range of machines. For older PCs, try Linux Mint's XFCE or Mac Edition or 
Zorin OS light version. Now finally, the security. Built on Ubuntu. Both are secure. Just keep them updated. Now, real world use cases. Which distro suits you best? Let's see how they stack up in everyday scenarios. For general use, web browsing, email, and streaming, both nail it. For gaming, Linux Mint might have a slight lead, thanks to its bigger community and better support for gaming tools and drivers. For creative work, Zorin OS offers pre-installed apps for editing photos, videos, and 3D graphics. Great for creatives. You can add this to Linux Mint too, but it's not as instant. Finally, the conclusion. The verdict is in. So what's the final word? Both Linux Mint 22.1 and Zorin OS 17.3 are fantastic for new Linux users. But here is the breakdown. Pick Linux Mint if you want a Windows-like feel, unbeatable stability, and a huge support network. It's perfect for most beginners. Go with Zorin OS if you love a macOS vibe, need creative tools out of the box, or don't mind splurring on the Pro version for extras. The choice is yours. Download both, give them a spin, and see which one clicks for you. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.